want to share with you today some real important things about our ministry. One is we got a mentoring process that's very effective in helping equip men. And uh, men need help. They uh, have challenges with all different things that are going through. And, you know, I've been meeting with men since 2007. So I've gotten to see how effective the mentoring process is, what it does in their life. And it's just been a blessing. Um, I met I met Roy in, in 2007. And uh, before I get to that, I just want to mention three things. One of the one of the three main things that happens as men go through a mentoring process. One is we help develop uh, a deeper, more intimate relationship in Jesus Christ. And God really uses this mentoring process to lay a foundation. This is important for what he wants to do ahead in your life. Not just somebody new or somebody struggling with all men. Uh, the next is we want to help men develop trusting, more authentic relationships with other men. God moves in that in a powerful way. When men get together, they can share what's going on in their life. They can open up their heart and talk about some things that they're challenged with. The third is we want to equip men to disciple and mentor other men so we can help others. We can help men and we can further the kingdom of God. So men can take what they've been, been given from God and share that and invest in other men. So that's some of the main key things we do with our mentoring process. I met Roy in 2007. And uh, you know, a little bit of background with me, the first 20 years of my life, uh, I had all kinds of mentoring and men invest in my life, looking back on it. And from that, when I turned 19, I had some things happen to me that kind of took me on a different path than I had planned in the next 20 years. I had no relationships with men whatsoever. I didn't plan that. But that's what happened, and I'm thankful for that because I can see God's hand in that now. It helps me understand how important this ministry is. Um, when I met Roy, basically what was going on in my life, I'd been saved for four years. I was going to church every Sunday, listening to powerful sermons. I was reading the Word of God every day. I was praying, so I was developing a close, intimate relationship with God. I was changing. We were blessed in a lot of different ways. But on the other hand, it was a struggle for me because I was becoming very frustrated and God let me set in this for especially the two of the four years. He was getting me ready for what's ahead. And uh, the big thing with me at the time was I didn't feel equipped or adequate to carry out what, what God, what I was learning, what I was being taught. I didn't know my purpose. I didn't know my identity. It was almost like a, a volcano Simmering, getting ready to erupt, and it erupted one day in 2007. It's a powerful thing that happened in my life, and I asked God, who am I? What do you want me to do? What is this all about? I prayed all day and night. I didn't sleep that night. I broke down many times, and I asked God, I said, I need help. And uh, I didn't know what God was going to do, so I tried to, like men do, I tried to help myself, and I thought, well, I'll go to the church. That was my plan. And I, didn't, I wasn't connected relationally in any way whatsoever in my church or to any other believer. And I said, I've seen these guys in the church. I'll approach them and I'll ask for help. But God had a different plan. The next day, he answered my prayer in a powerful way. He led me to this ministry. He led me to Roy. When I met Roy, he agreed to mentor me and take me through the mentoring process. And I want to mention three key things that happened. As I went through the mentoring process, God moved in a powerful way brought me closer in my relationship with him, deeper in his word, that helped God lay a foundation going through the mentoring process and continues to do so in my life for what he wants to do ahead as I walk with him. The next is, uh, he started moving in my life in many different ways in a powerful way. And first started with him, but then with my wife and my family. He opened the door, took time to where I could leave within my family. And the mentoring process played a big part in that. The third was the relationship that I was able to build with Roy. Like I said before, when I turned 19, I had some things happen. I lost my dad when I was 19. And I was age 42 when I met Roy. So in that time, I had no relationships whatsoever with other men. I didn't understand the value or the depth and the importance of a relationship with another man. 
So what happened with me is it's almost like God had me ready. It was like an empty vessel, a clean slate. He poured this very important thing this ministry is about. He put it inside my heart right then. And quickly, within two months, I started sharing that with other men. Since then, I've been meeting with men. I've seen men change, transformation, this major realigning God does as they go through this to him and what he wants to do in their life. I see him overcome sin, the challenges they're going through. I see marriages healed, families restored. I've seen churches change, big impact with men in the church. If they take a hold of it and they use it, it's very effective. And the three key areas within the church taking a hold of this is lay a foundation in the men, establish some leadership, and then if the church, the leaders, the leadership will support it. It'll work and it's very effective. Uh, the mission of CMN is the Great Commission, and I didn't. I'm not gonna. I didn't show anything on the screen or an outline. I'm not gonna read it. It's Matthew 18, 28, 18 through 20. And what I've learned is we keep we keep reading the scripture, which I'm sure everyone here knows it. But what we want to do is we want to help men not just be taught that go beyond that and take what they've been given and invest in other men. We want to help men understand the authority Jesus has, and it's a command to every believer to carry out. We want to help men go, not just be taught. That's one of the main things we do. We want to help them understand their identity, who they are in Christ, how much they're loved by God, and he's with the boys. Um, one of the things I teach in the workshop, I go into all these things in a deeper way. The Great Commission is not just taught, it's caught. You don't catch it until you go and do it, until you engage it. You experience it. Then you take that experience that God gives you and he places in here and you're able to go share that with other men. And that's what we do here. The vision of CMN is we equip Christ-centered mentors worldwide, all over the world. Not just here in Arizona, even in other countries, all over the states, it's moving in a powerful way. And I, we had a video from Roy, right? Are we going to show that at the end? No, yeah, you never told me. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. If you're not, if you're not, it's not a Q&A. Yeah, that's okay. You do a Q&A or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I want to I want to really share. Do you have another disc or something? I emailed it to Jeff. But don't worry about it if you don't have it. I'll, I'll I don't know. <laughs> if, if we can. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I want to mention some key areas about our mentoring process. Because of time, I, I can't go into them deep, but there's four key areas. One is transformation. Uh, we don't just attack someone's behavior. We change the way they think. Then it becomes their character, then their values, then they act it out their behavior. So we change the way men think, going through the process. God's word and God's love. And the way we do that, we go deeper now, is we go to the heart of men. We get to the inner core of men. And it's very effective uh, what we do. The next is relationship. We want to help first and foremost help men develop a, a deeper, intimate relationship in Christ. We want to help men develop some trusting, authentic, genuine relationships with other men where they can open up their heart. God moves in this in a powerful way. I've experienced, I've seen it every day, uh, meet with men since 2007. And what I've learned is I started on my journey. See, when I first started this journey, and I've heard it out in the lobby twice, is it real effective for somebody new, which it is, or somebody hurt, which it is. But what I learned is I kept going further into this ministry. I had to learn by going and doing it, not just reading in the book. Is, is a lot of the men in the church, uh, I mean this in a respectful, loving way, have never experienced a type of mentoring relationship like we do here. So that has a big impact moving forward in the church because then they don't carry that out and equip another men uh, to build these type of relationships. Um, and uh, the next is application. We don't want to just teach them, we want to help them apply. We want to help them apply what, they, what, what they're learning. And this is very effective in doing that. And the last, one of the main keys to, to our mentoring uh, 
process and in our ministry is replication and continuation because what we do can be replicated. We, we equip men who go and disciple other men and mentor other men, and that way it continues. And what, what I do in the workshop is I challenge men to, to go on and disciple 12 men in their lifetime. What would happen if every man set out to disciple 12 in their lifetime? Now don't get all caught up about the numbers. Maybe one man does three. <laughs> let, let God grow. One guy does 12, 30, 100, so on. But what, what would happen if men set out to do this every man? What, what do you think would happen? Mm -hmm. well, um, so it's a question you guys can participate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I thought that was part of the answer. Well, it is, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm uh, getting you ready for the process, right? If you, well, did, well, you did it right, if you did it right, you could have 12 more mentors to take another 12, another just kind of right. going sort of Yeah, it could grow exponentially. Yeah. But, but what would happen is men would change, which they do, right? And we've seen it happen. Marriages would change. Families, the church would have a big impact in the world. And what I really try to challenge men with is it goes beyond us so we can help other men. Uh, think about the next generation. Uh, I don't have the exact numbers with me. It's not. Well, there's 50% of the kids being brought up today are born without a dad. So I had a dad until I was 19. That's hard for me to wrap my mind around. And we know the outcome of that. So we could be equipping men in the church to disciple other men in the church, but go beyond to handle what's coming from the next generation. Uh, I'll be out at the table after I speak, and you can come and talk to us. I really appreciate it if I can talk to you and connect with you. This is the mentoring process. It's based on 12 characteristics on the back of the books. I can share that with you. Um, this is a Go Deeper book. Um, the Go Deeper book is about a, a man that I met in 2008, real quick, and uh, he kept kind of hunting me down. He's one, he's one to connect, connect to me, and I couldn't get rid of him. He kept following me around. And, uh, well, I didn't know what God wanted to do. It's one of those divine appointments, you know, for what God wants to do next. And uh, he, he was a pastor that moved down here from Williams, Arizona. He's about the same age I, I am, and his son killed himself. He's going through a hard time. I started meeting with this guy, and I was going to mentor him through the mentoring process, which I did. But what I had to do was back off and just meet with him and listen to him and let him pour out his heart. As we continued on, we met once a week. We did go through the mentoring process, but I met with him. I had to learn to, to be a good listener and listen to what he was saying. And I got to watch God restore his heart over the next two years. And I just want to read something in the book. This is the book that Roy wrote. Tim wrote a testimony and sent it to me. I gave it to Roy. Roy is the founder of the ministry, Roy Comstock. And he wrote this book in his four powerful steps to disciple men through one-on-one -on -one mentoring. It's a quick read, but it's very effective and powerful to understand what our ministry is about. And uh, I wanted to read just a small, small part of it. We as, men, we as mentors need to exemplify the love of Christ in all we do and say. I don't know about you men, but I think that's challenging for all of us, right? Because that only comes from God. It comes from being empowered to the Holy Spirit and surrender. Every man has a challenge with that. The big thing is I want to read, this is not something we can fail. We must spend time with the Lord every day in His Word to do this. So the point I want to make in this is, you know, it's not something we can fake. All, I think all men have a lot of experience. Uh, that's what it, not only me, but other men I've met with, and what it's like to not be loved in this world. So it goes back to when I was meeting with Tim. Uh, you know, God just kind of thrusted him in my life. There's a lot of listening. I'm not a, I'm not a counselor, but all I know is listen to Tim and just, and just loved on him. And I got to see God change him over the next two years and restore his family. Uh, the next thing we do, I want to share with you is beyond this, I like to come and do these things and share, and, and I do a workshop, a three-hour workshop that can be done in different settings, <laughs> different time weeks. We call it the Mighty Men Recon. But the important thing we do in the workshop, we, we do it here, we can travel, is we talk about everything the ministry is about in a deeper way. The mentoring process, we go through it in a PowerPoint, 
talk about what God's doing in the ministry all over the world. We use testimonies from other men. I developed, a, or God meant it through me, a task force team over the years. And these are guys who really take a hold of this in a deeper way and help the ministry grow. And they helped me put on the workshop. And it's very effective. So if you're interested in something like that, I'd appreciate if you come by the table and connect with us. And there's different ways. You can, you can, I brought uh, a lot of the material with me. You can go on the website. There's a brochure, there's a card. And uh, when you leave here, you can go to the website and order, order material. But there's a way we can connect with you relationally and come and meet with you or do a workshop. I'd really appreciate the opportunity to do that to help you uh, with your men. This is a website, Gary. What is that? ChristianMentorsNetwork.org. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to come today and share with you. I, I appreciate Jeff um, meeting. I met Jeff through the National Coalition. That's how this happened. So I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.